Hi guys, Todd here. Excuse me, I'm just cleaning my hands. I've been using the Brasso, um, which may give the game away slightly. On the top of here, this is my Brass uh, Nemesis, we have the Mini Senesis by Senio Mods. Genesis Atomizer, sorry. Now, I have reviewed the Senesis Dripper and the Senesis Genesis Atomizer before. This is, is the Mini version. I was going to say, this is the Mini version, uh, which is oh so dinky. Um, and once again, I got this sent on to me by Senyo himself and um, was doing backflips in the shed. Uh, well, it's maybe not try to, but uh, because I absolutely, I, I mean, I remember the first time I saw one of these and that brass outer sleeve is just, it's just stunning. It was the first one I'd seen in that, an Ate, and I've loved them ever since. And, you know, you can get them, uh, this brass outer sleeve, you can get a stainless steel outer sleeve, just a stainless steel cap. Uh, and you can also get it in wood. And I think he also does wooden sleeves for things like, uh, or wooden tubes for like, uh, perhaps Caravella 20 by 1 type stuff. Uh, his work is exquisite. I, I, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I, I'll tell you pros and cons at the end of the review. But I am a fan. But that doesn't mean I won't tell you something shite. Because I will. Uh, but looks wise, certainly from the outset, it is just beautiful. And I just got my nemesis back today. I sent it away. Uh, I got some uh, re engraving done in it because I'd gone a bit daft in the polishing and the brass. Uh, and, and they put my name on it as well, which over the moon. Uh, we'll have a quick vape. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, Mrs. Lord's Victoria sandwich. It's just stunning, uh, which I never thought I would. I did. It's a dessert flavour. I didn't think it'd be that great in a Genesis, but it really is. Right, enough of the gibbering and gabbering. Uh, we'll get down to details. Uh, the the link for the website will be in that corner. It's that corner, uh, and you can go along to the site. There are waiting lists. You're not just going to go along and order this and get one straight away. There are waiting lists, so be aware of that uh, at the outset. Uh, I'll mention the prices later on. Uh, prices are pretty damn cheap for what you're getting, in my opinion, but that all depends if you got on the waiting list or not. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go down, we'll show you in detail, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Now, I, I got this free for review, uh, so Senyo sent on the Atti itself. He sent on a stainless steel top cap and stainless steel and brass. And he also sent on a spare tank. And this, I would imagine, comes included with it as standard, which is, a, it looks like a spares pack. You know, there's spare O-rings, insulators and screws and so on there. Now, just to show you the Atti itself, 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, the size with you know the top cap on, put the brass one on. Uh, size top to bottom is 37 millimeters, but that doesn't include the 510 connection there. Uh, standard 510 connection. It's PMME glass here. Uh, Tank, it does actually give the tank size, uh, the overall diameter, the length, and so on on the website. 
you can check that out yourself. The tank capacity is 1.8 mils. The air hole size as standard is 1.3 millimeter. However, you can get it to your specifications if you ask when you order it. The wick hole size is three millimeters. So you've got three mil there. Negative connection there, positive. Another negative here by the looks of it, well one of these is actually, that's going to be your fill hole I should say because what you can do with this is I can go in here and I can unscrew this with my wonky allen key and I should now be able to run UWIC Remember this one's going to be threaded. Uh, it does look just a little bit smaller than this one, uh, but uh, you know, you've now got a UWIC configuration that you can run. And I would probably leave this out all the time as that's now going to be the fill fill port. I'll actually just take this out just now. I don't think I actually got an Allen key with this kit. Mind you, he's probably not sent it on because you know he sent me that <laughs> he sent me that many. Uh, that he's probably thinking that bugger Todd's got enough of my Allen keys, I'm not sending them anymore. So there we go. Fill hole, negative terminal, positive, and you can run UWIC. I'm just going to run a single WIC. I don't have. I haven't done a UWIC in a long time. It's uh, not something that. Uh, you know, ever since I've started using stainless steel rope that I've, I've had to use. I'll just pop that back in there. So here we go. Uh, like I say, top cap's pretty much the same again. You know, it's not reduced or anything like that, but you know, when I put it on here, you see the top of this terminal is, well, just to show you. You've actually got to be quite selective on uh, the drip tips you put in. Uh, I mean, I've got a, a Zaris drip tip here, and you know, if I pop that down, you know, that fits on no problem at all. Uh, but some of them, <coughs> excuse me, with a smaller uh, borehole, uh, they don't like to fit on, so you, you have to watch out for that. But I like that. Uh, just to point out, you know, this is brass, but uh, if you look inside, you know, it's it's all stainless steel in here. That's up close. Non adjustable 510. Well, I suppose you, you could actually adjust it. Um, used to do this in my old census. You know, you could uh, undo this screw here. Should I do it? Ah, well, why not? I'm just going to take everything off here. You know, as I undo that, that's actually going to stick out further. If you had to, I mean, you can stick, just unscrew that and push this right out. I mean, you could stick another small o ring in there if you wanted this to sit out further. But right now, it's sitting like that. Depends on how tight you make this here. I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit, not much. That'll do me. I don't. It's you know it's it's just sitting proud, no more. But you know as usual, the threads are bang on. Uh, plenty of them in here, and that'll do me nicely. See there, there's not a lot of height between the, you know, the negative and the two washers there. You could, if you wanted, you can, you know, you can stick another spacer in there, another washer in there. It's entirely up to you, you know. But uh, I'm just going to run it as standard as it came. So here we go. I'm just. Uh, Tidying this up, I've put a little uh, 
bog standard stainless steel mesh wick in here not done anything exciting I'm afraid uh, I'm just making sure everything's spaced out nice and neatly here I'm not going to win any coiling awards as usual will I ever It is, I mean I've got to say, it's quite a short gap there, I mean you haven't got a lot of, let's see, you could put another uh, nut in there and, and raise this post up if you wanted more coils higher up, uh, but let's see, I'm just doing it as it comes out the box. So uh, I think we should put this on a mod. So I'm on a, a Victoria by JA mods and I'm in hybrid mode here using a 20 by 1 hybrid adapter and I'm just pulsing away at this here and I'll keep pulsing away it's a little poke about So I'll give this a couple more dunts, I'll fill it up with some juice and uh, we'll take it from there. So there you go. Now, uh, I must admit this is how I have been running it. This is the Victoria Mod by Victoria Mod by GA Mods. Uh, and I'm running this on a 20 by 1 hybrid adapter. The finish is a perfect finish, perfect match. And it just looks oh, stunning. The Atty itself, right, well no, I love the look of it. That you cannot fault the look of it at all. Uh, the chamber, it's not domed, it's not massively reduced or anything like that. It's not it's not like an RSST type chamber, you know, it's not like a church cathedral in there. Uh, you know, when you put the, the top cap on, I think I showed in the close-ups, can't remember now. Uh, you know, the, the positive post is just about touching the top of your drip tip. So it gives you an idea of how small the chamber is. So, I mean, the negative terminal is close to the wick hole. I never had an issue building it. Uh, it it's kind of, it, how can I put this? You've got the perfectly placed negative terminal. And then you've got the one that's too far, and then you've got the one that's too close to the wick. Uh, this is just a little bit too close to the wick hole, but it's not causing me any hassles or any grief. Uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, the only thing you have to watch is when you're screwing it onto mods, you know, don't screw it on too tight. If you screw it on too tight, then you're going to end up pushing that post. You're live post you'll push it up and this nut at the bottom will get loose uh, so don't go tightening it too much uh, that's just something to look out for uh, I, I really don't have any issues with it at all the only thing that you have and this is the same with my last my, well not my last one because i've still got the other one in the house uh, my other sentence is, is the air hole is quite low down on the deck. It is quite low. Uh, depending on how you're wicking, um, you know, with the Genesis tilt, uh, we tend to have the air hole, you know, going down like that uh, when we vape. I tend to have this at the quarter to three position uh, because if it's too low and you're just over wicking a tiny little bit, uh, you can get leakage out of the air hole. So you just tilt it to the quarter to three position and it's fine. Mm. 
it's right I, to all those people that may be interested in buying this it is a perfectly adequate Genesis atomizer when I say perfectly adequate I mean it's not the best thing you're ever going to come across it's not the worst thing you're going to come across it, it's just nice size chamber you can do a U wick, a single wick uh, it's easy to refill it's dinky for, you know, it's tiny wee tank in it and all that well, just 2 mil um, and it's beautiful looking it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of all the new ones that you see coming out uh, and you know part of me whilst I love bells and whistles and all the new latest things and whatnot, it's nice to just get a good solid atty to work with you don't have to worry about positioning the air hole and and you know do you have to face the sun when you vape or do you have to, you know, all this kind of stuff it's just a good quality piece of engineering built well and it does what it says in the tin you know uh, it does exactly what it says in the tin and once again I'm a huge fan <laughs> I shouldn't say that in a review. I'm going to stop there because, uh, you know, I'll just end up going on, on about how much I like it personally. And it shouldn't really be about how much I personally like it. It should be about the pros and cons. And the pros are it looks really good. It's built really well. The cons are... It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's just a really good rebuildable atomizer. And that's it. As always, uh, Senyo, uh, thank you so much for sending this on. Uh, I, <laughs> I really, really appreciate this one. Uh, it's just a joy for me, this gushing. Uh, for you guys uh, watching, uh, as always, thank you for listening. Go and watch other reviews on this. You know, don't just go in my opinion. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, Inappropriate Reviews reviewed the Senesis uh, Rebuildable Atomizer a few weeks back, I think. I watched that. Uh, I don't know if it was the Mini. I don't think it was the Mini. It was just the regular. Uh, but, you know, go and read the write-ups and that kind of stuff. Uh, don't just go off some gushing Scots twat in a shed, you know. Uh and that's it. Catch you later.